All right, we're riding the Ash Canyon Trail system here, and we are going to go see what we can find out. Nice little lake reservoir or something thing there on the right. So on trail forks, it looks like these trails are like three different trails, but once you get to the trail system here, they're all marked as bobs. So take that into account if you're going to come ride this trail system and just know that maybe the trail on trail forks need to be updated to bobs. At least that's what it looks like. Got some wind again today. Hopefully it's not as bad as the last ride. That was really treacherous with the wind. But we'll see as we get up higher here if the wind kicks up or if we'll get a nice smooth windless ride. Alright, we just transferred on the four-day trail off of Bob's. Still climbing up. Been a nice climb so far. Legs are a little tired from the workout the last few days. Lungs are feeling the elevation a little bit. Turn left, there's a little jump right there. Big drop. Big drop with a flat land in.
fun trail. Headed back up for another round. This time we're riding up the uh, service road here. Maybe make it a little bit of a quicker climb. We'll see. All right, riding the road up was definitely better. Easier. Depends on what you're looking for, I suppose. We're gonna ride the creek trail again since it was so much fun. Give it another go now that we kind of know what it is, how it works. Not gonna hit that jump again. Kind of a nasty little rock on the other side of that. Whew. Ha. I don't know how you're supposed to hit that. Well, it's so flat too that I just want to look at it. I'm going to go back and look at this drop thing I just went off of. Like it's cool, but the landing is so flat. I think you almost have to go slower so you land like right there rather than down here where I was landing and just pull my tricep muscle. And I had more speed and I think I hit even flatter because I was thinking I didn't remember what it was like. Uh -huh. So I thought maybe I needed more speed and it'd be a further, give me a better grade on the way down. But it didn't. <laughs> that one and this one's not holding, but it was all the way up. Like I felt it jolt, like I hit something, bottomed out. All right. That was fun. Give it another go. Something I love about this Rebel Rascal is that it's so pop, pop into the air at a moment of notice. The only downside I would say too is that when you go up a big drop like we just did, um, there's not quite enough suspension to handle that. So I look forward to trying their Rebel Rail that they just came out with the 29er, seeing what that's like. If it climbs anywhere as good as the rascal, I'll probably end up getting one. Climb, climb, climb. Oh, this trail, definitely fun. Highly recommend it. If you're in the area, outside of Reno, put all the trail forks information down below in the description. So you can check it out. Also check out the description if you want to see links to all the gear that we're using. It totally helps us out if you use those links. Fun little launch, but there's a rock there that you could totally 
have a bad day. fun the second time even though I didn't hit that drop very good or I don't know how to hit it well it's slower I guess Well, that was a fun trail. The creek trail was fun, did it twice, and would definitely recommend it as an easy climb and really a fun trail. I don't know if I'd hit that drop if I were you, unless you've got 150 travel or so on that bike, or maybe hit it a different, slower speed. Yeah, check it out, and I'll put all the trail information down below so you can get all that on Trail Forks if you'd like to just check her on out. Alright guys, if you have any questions, let us know. If you like the channel, hit subscribe. And if you like this video, thumbs up. Everyone is appreciated. Thanks for watching.